Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to copy a file from your Mac to a remote server and vice versa from a remote server back to your Mac. And this actually can be done on any operating system that has terminal built into it. So that includes all the Linux distributions pretty much. So Mac or Linux, um, if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's get right in into the tutorial. Okay, so the remote server that we're going to be working with here is at this IP address. And uh, what I'm going to do ahead of time is just open up a terminal window and log into that via SSH. And if you're not familiar with SSH, um, I do have another video on that topic. So I'll link that in this video or down in the description below so so you know what's going on there. But if, you're, if you already know what's going on, then good. Um, okay, so I'm going to SSH into that IP address that we're going to be working with and type in my password, copy, paste. Okay, so our goal here is to take a file and the file I have is this file right here, this demo file, it's a zip file, and paste it into, or I guess copy it, paste it, transfer it, whatever you wanna call it, into this remote server inside the root directory. So as you can see, there's nothing in the root directory right now, so we'll just let this window hang out here for, um, for a little bit and now let's go ahead and execute the command to copy this file to that remote server So how do we do that? Let's open up another terminal window. We can go to shell new window and What we want to do is use the command SCP secure copy command in order to do it So what we can do is start typing the command SCP now the syntax here is f the file that you want to copy from and then the destination that you want to copy it to. So from our desktop, and um, we'll give it the full path. So we'll say slash users Tony desktop demo file. And you, you see here that I'm I'm typing demo -E demo, and then I'm hitting tab, and that auto completes it because that file exists on that path. Okay, so. That is the from file, and now we want to do the to file. So the to file is the remote server with the IP address and the username. So let's say to root, which is R-O-O-T, at, and don't worry that we're wrapping around to the next line. This is just looking ugly because of all that crap that printed out. I'll make the window a little bit bigger. Root at the IP address. I'm just going to type it for simplicity 66.42.85.9 colon okay because we're done with the, that that IP address colon and then we're going to give it the full path to the uh, directory where we want it to go so slash root and what I like to do I always like to put um, be explicit and say that I want the file to end up there as demo file.zip you know you can call it something else demo file one but we'll, we'll keep it the same okay so we'll go ahead and hit enter and now it's asking us for the password for this remote server and what I'm gonna do is go over here and copy the password you can also type it um, either way you're not gonna see any output for security reasons so I pasted it in I'm gonna hit I'm gonna make sure I'm in here hit enter and that copy is now happening. We're at 18%, 25%, 32%. When we're at 100%, we can come back up here to this terminal window, and we should see that file when we do the ls, which is basically going to list out those directory contents. So let's go ahead and do that, ls, and there it is. We have the demo file on that remote server at this IP address over here. Very cool, right? Let's do it the opposite way. Let's copy a file from the remote server back to the local computer, whatever you're working with, Mac, Linux, whatever. Um, even though that's the case, you would think we would execute it from here, from the remote server, but we're actually gonna execute it from our MacBook again. But let's first create a file that we wanna send back to us. So I'm just gonna do something like echo, hello world. And we're gonna put that into a file called uh, file.txt. Okay, so now we have two files on this remote server. We have the demo zip file and just the text file here. So let's copy the text file from our remote server back to our MacBook. How can we do that? 
Well, it's the same syntax. It's the same type of thing. And I'll show you a couple shortcuts along the way. So um, we're going to use SCP again, SCP from file. Okay. From to. So the from file is at our remote server. So we're basically going to look at the second half of this command up here, modified a little bit. So from root at the IP address 66.42.85.9 colon the full path to the file slash root slash a dash file dot text. Okay. Two. So we got SCP from two. Two. And now here's here's the shortcut that I'm going to show you. Instead of typing users Tony Florida, we're going to use the um, I don't even know what to call this, like the curly thing. <laughs> There's a proper name, but it's it's uh, just going to say curly thing for now. That that goes to your home directory. Okay, so for me that's this. We're going to be this equals this. Okay, just a cool cool. Linux shortcut there, uh, Unix shortcut. And then now since we're in that directory, we can just say desktop. And again, I'm auto completing. So it, that's where we are in the, the path of the system. And then again, you could be explicit, say a dash file dot text. Go ahead and hit enter. And once the password again, so I'm gonna go copy that password, come back here paste it. Uh, but before I paste it, I'm just going to minimize this window. I'm not sure where it's going to show up, but maybe we'll see it pop up on the screen somewhere. So hit enter. Oops, I didn't paste the password. Paste, hit enter. And yeah, there it is. Did you see guys pop up? Here it is, a file.txt. And it has the contents, hello world, just like we created it over on the remote server. That's it guys. I hope that made sense. If you have any questions about copying files from your MacBook, from Linux to a remote server or vice versa, back the other way. Let me know in the comments below if something wasn't clear or if you have any specific questions. Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.